Hey everybody, it's Super Paul Games, and welcome to the Political Machine 2012. That's right, Dick Sucker is coming back to try and win the presidency. If you caught my last one, 2008, Charles Dick Sucker beat Barack Obama in the popular vote, but he lost in the electoral vote. So he's going to come back and try and. Now it's four years later, he's angrier and he's madder and he wants to be president. So let's see, I made him earlier. Let me see if I can find him. There he is. Let's edit him a quick second. As you can see, his stats are basically the same as before. They're actually, the main ones are all the same. His stamina is good, his money and fundraising is about average, his charisma, appearance, credibility, and experience. I don't know what credibility a guy who dresses like that has. Is a little above average. His intelligence is low. He's still stupid. The media still hates him. But he has good minority appeal, I'm guessing with the S&M crowd. And he's very religious. Um, and for the platform, let's see. He's pro-capital punishment. Yay! He's pro-deficit reduction. Let's see. What else do we do? He's anti-gun control. Make a little, a little less. He's still high gas prices, because he's stupid that way. He's against illegal immigration. Yay! Uh, he wants to be a little for marijuana. Not as much as last time he realizes he needs to be more populous. Uh, he's against outsourcing of jobs. He's very for uh, reducing unemployment. I almost said unemployment. Because last time he just barely lost. So this time it's going to be all about the economy. Wait, can I change that a little bit? I think Obamacare was in there too. If he's a Republican, he should probably be a little bit against that. Because he is a Republican, as you can see. Oh, fuck it. It'll just go like that. So let's get this on on the road to the White House. Apparently we can post this to Facebook. And he's going to run against Barack Obama. Who's so much smarter than him in almost everything except for the religious thing. Well, I mean, Obama versus Dick Sucker, the rematch 2012. I'm ready to get my dick sucked. Me too. Win the states, win the election. Up for grabs, lean your way, set in victory. I have to travel the states to make them red. I, I haven't played 2012 yet. It just came out technically yesterday. It's like, I don't know, it's, well, maybe technically today, yeah. Because it's almost midnight. Select my candidate. Then, yeah, I know how to make him fly around. That's how you really fly in a plane. You stick your giant head out and you hope it doesn't hit the birds. So here we are in our home state of Michigan. And we start with one of these, um... Headquarters. Last time we lost, I lost because I focused way too much on the big states. Like, we just barely lost California and New York. This time we're going to be much smarter. First of all, let's create an ad. Oh, we only have two and a half million dollars? I wish I had two and a half million dollars. Yes, ads are expensive, but they help. No, we're not going to do auto bailouts. Uh, reducing unemployment. We favor it. We want a TV ad. I'm Charles Dick Sucker, and I endorse this message. Charles Dick Sucker supports reducing unemployment. Oh, it's still good. So create that ad. Unemployment's the big problem. Next, um, we want to improve our headquarters. We want to upgrade it for uh, oh half a mil. Okay, we'll do that. And then let's see, what do we want to do? These are the rest of our stamina points, so we have less left to do. We want to go to Florida at some point, because I think we lost Florida last time, which is my boneheaded choice. Uh, we could fundraise. Ah, oh, fuck it, we're going to Florida. Adios, bitches. USA. We want to build a headquarters here. We want to build another campaign headquarters. Man, his stamina's all worn out. Let's see. Oh, I didn't forget you could zoom in. Oops. She's like, I'm all chugged out. I got a baby face and I'm worn out building that out of my poop shoot. It's a lot of politics as shit. What? So let's uh, take a different look at the map a second. As I acquaint myself with the things that have changed. I'm People only know of me in Michigan. Those are electoral state wealth. Good. We're gonna raise some money while we're here. Ah, what'd I do? Oh, well, can I switch these to, uh... 
Oh, that's cool. You can kind of guesstimate what you need to win. Oh, no. Alright, cool. I don't really give a shit about that right now. And let's look at the polls early on. Wow, we're ahead in the polls. Suck on that, Obama. That's what you get for not fixing the economy. Because it's all your job, not mine. You did, people didn't like me. So that's the end of our first turn. Ooh, what's special interest do? Oh, okay, cool. And we can't hire operatives or stuff. That's going to be the end of our first turn. Pennsylvania bitch. Get out of my state. That's my state. That's why I wear a cowboy hat. He put a headquarters in my state. What a bastard. Alright, so we're gonna get out of my state of Michigan. They're all my states. So we're gonna upgrade our headquarters here. And we're gonna give us. So we're gonna raise some funds. Come on, Florida voters for dick sucker. I will suck your dick for $126,000. That's a lot of dick sucking. Oh yeah, I'll make it look good, honey. And the swords, in case you're not circumcised, <laughs> he can do it for you. It's what a deal, what a deal. Cha-ching, oh look at all the money. Don't land on your head. Let's give a speech while we're here. Last time we gave a speech about raising gas prices. We're gonna make the same bonehead move. Let's see, gas prices, let's do it early this time. High gas prices, oops. We are in favor of high gas prices. Woo! 2% of the people like us because of that, or just know us? They're like, that's the wacko who likes high gas prices. Oh, and that's all the stuff we can do on this turn. Get out of my state, dickhead. It's my state, President Dickhead. So we're going to go fly to uh, Texas. Oh, it would help if I selected my man. That sounded wrong. He's not my man. And we're going to build another headquarters here. Because these help us get people know about us. Let's see. Let's uh, let's upgrade that. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Kick ass. They also make money for you. See, that makes thirty grand a week. Thirty grand a week. That oh, makes thirty grand a week. And we're going to do some fundraise. Oh, wait, we should start another ad. Oh, spare your opponent. That'd be cool. We want a radio ad. And we want... No. We don't care if people are pagans. We want deficit reduction. I'm Charles Dick Sucker, and I support reducing the deficit. Free dick sucking. <laughs> oh. There's not enough money? What well, says right there that there's not enough? Because I can't read, apparently. I told you he was stupid. That's partly based on me. So let's raise some funds. Uncle Penny Moneybag says, Texas, yeah, Texas, thanks for all your monies. Now I'm going to take a little nap. Ooh, question mark. We're going to go there first because we want whatever it is. Hollywood friend taking a quick breather from the spotlight of Hollywood stardom. A critically acclaimed movie star has scheduled the next several weeks to endorse president candidate presidential. Oh, okay, reading's hard. Charles Dicksucker. Freely moving to whatever state deemed necessary. This new asset of the Charles election team will raise awareness of his longtime political pal on a weekly basis. Ooh, and there's... Ooh, I should have looked at Ohio first of all. Ohio's our next stop anyway, so... Um, let's go to Ohio. Because we need Ohio. You've been invited to appear on the cold cut repertoire. We're going to go on this, even though we're stupid. Come on, dick sucker. Tonight on the Code Card Repertoire, in a meeting that will surely go down in history, two great people sit down next to answer tough questions. One of them might be the next president, the other might be me. I can't help but notice that everyone seems to be calling for more jobs, yet I keep losing interns every time I call one into my dressing room. Is there really a job crisis in America, or just people are too lazy and dirty to do the jobs that need doing? No, people, there's a job problem. Well, having seen your dressing room, I can understand why they don't come back. American workers were not so greedy. Corporations would be able to keep their jobs at home, but they're... No, I'm, I'm going to say this one. 
Hey, they kind of like it. I, for one, have a gay friend, but for some reason he wants to get married. I don't understand that since I just assumed he was gay so he could get out of all the nagging. <laughs> but he wanted me to ask you where you stand on the issue. I stand next to the issue, not on the issue. I think that the government should stop subsidizing marriage entirely. I don't see why single people, gay or straight, should be punished for not being married. Oh, why not? Yeah, that's what we're gonna say. Oh, people hated that. That's it for the cold cut repertoire. Buy my book! No, really, you should buy it. The book is quite thought out and whimsical. Written look into the world of politics. Oh, people aren't gonna like me. It's fucking... You twits! You all fucking twits! Dick suckers, vote for me, please. Dick sucker worries independence. Dick sucker's interview discourages base. Okay, so we're building a headquarters here. Oh, I think I accidentally clicked on it, but we wanted to anyway. So, because we need to be known in Ohio, and we want you guy. Can you move? Yes. You come here and help Ohio know about us. And I will raise some funds. Why the fuck not? Thanks, Ohio. Let's see. I'll raise some more funds while I'm here, because I don't know how... Yes! Next time we'll start, like, a radio ad here. Look at our movie friend. Look how famous we are. He's, like, very tiny compared to me. Thank you, little man. Creepy glasses. Oh, I gotta build some of these so I can hire... a political capital so I can get, um... endorsements. From, like, these groups. That'll help me. A tea Party? Oh, they didn't have that in the last one. I guess that movement's newer, so... Next turn! Let's see, where should we go next? Cal Ooh, look, we're doing good in Michigan. So we're gonna create an... Uh, we're gonna create an ad here. What was it gonna be for, um... Fast and Furious Inquiry? Oh, we should, because that was a terribly botched effort that got people killed. Um, deficit reduction. We want a radio spot, because we can't afford a TV spot. A radio spot to reduce the deficit. Yes, everybody. Ooh, see, some people heard a radio spot. And they liked it. They should like it, bastards. Um, let's, uh... Let's go to New York. Woo! And we're gonna raise some funds. They got money here. Give me money. Yeah, New York dick suckers. Thank you. That was my speech. We're gonna build an HQ here. We're gonna build... Um, we're gonna build this for PR Cloud. And, let's see, that's about it for this turn. I guess we'll have one we can't use. We're looking good in Michigan, though. We need that. Let's see what the polls say. Right there, it's about evenly split up here. 44% Republican. Oh, too bad the election's not today. We're ahead. I don't know how long it's going to last. More dick suckers sucking dick on the news. and Ooh, okay. Obama's New York consulting office gets a facelift. Ooh. These are all the things that happened in the last five weeks. How exciting. He can't do... An advertisement reducing unemployment? That's my issue! Well, who's this guy? Oh no, he's one of the political operatives. That bastard! That's my state, hobag. So let's raise some more funds. We don't need to see this anymore. Let's come up with a speech. That was a good speech. <laughs> he had nothing. We're gonna raise some more funds. There we go. Can we uh, upgrade our HQ? We did. Now we gotta find a new state to go to. We're gonna go to Virginia. I think. Fuck it. We're gonna fly out to California. Can we fly out to California? I don't know if we have enough movements. No. Virginia? Nope. Then let's see if we can do anything with our special interest. Yes. Oh, we don't have enough clout. We'll hire some of these crooks soon looking good don't be giving speeches in 
Barack Obama has won the endorsement for the National Association for Women. Oh man, but I love women. They got the fun hall. See, it's right there and it's fun. Ooh, what's the crazy stuff in... Oh fuck it, I shouldn't go there, but I'm like, I need to see what's happening in Tennessee. Telling great stories about candidate Charles Dick Sucker, storyteller has joined the political lab of state, doubling Charles Dick Sucker's charisma rating in whatever state the storyteller's in. Aw, thanks, old bat. Go to Florida for me, old bat. There you go. Since we're here, let's give a speech. Charles Dick Sucker supports reducing unemployment. Hey, Tennessee, you assholes in Tennessee. There should be more jobs! Jobs for assholes! Assholes need work, too. That's what I tell my girlfriend. Alright, that's the end of this episode. Um, come back next time. Check me out on the next one. Derp!